and welcome to Holistic Sites video series. My name is Donna Melangi and I'm a holistic health practitioner. Today I'd like to speak with you about the Law of Attraction. Many people have seen the movie called The Secret or have heard of the Law of Attraction through some other, other sources and are very interested in how it works and maybe you've tried it and you find it either worked or didn't work. But what I've found is a lot of people don't realize that there is not just the law of attraction working in our energy fields, in our reality. There's also the law of opposites or opposites attract. And unless you know how both of those laws work, you're going to find yourself kind of stuck, wondering why the law of attraction isn't working. And I'm here to tell you that the law of attraction is always working. It just not might not appear to be working because the law of opposites is interfering with the law of attraction. I found out back 20, 25 years ago when I started doing my holistic work I started out with hypnotherapy and found out about our thoughts and how our thoughts create our reality. And it was very powerful to see that and to realize that and to see it in action in my, in my life and in other people's lives as well. And then I went on to energy healing through Reiki and became a Reiki master and learned through um, a lot of different energy healing processes that the when you the law of attraction and how it worked and looking at the law of opposites and wondering well what am I bringing forward with this healing work that I'm doing if I have a thought that's counter to the healing of that person am I bringing that out in that person so learning to be neutral in the healing and learning to allow whatever comes through with that was very important to me. So I found that I was looking for that answer on when did the law of attraction work and when did the law of opposites work? How did each one of those balance with each other so I knew which one I was working with? Again, the law of attraction is the dominant law of, the, of our reality, of the energy in this reality. Yet the law of opposites causes that sometimes to be blocked. And if you're not realizing what you're doing when you're saying affirmations, when you're doing your, the, the vision boards that you might be making, you might be creating the opposite of what you care to create in your life. So this video is to get that point across to you that if they're not working, it's because that law of opposites is in effect. And here's the secret, the secret to the secret, is what I found is the, the law of opposites takes over and becomes dominant when there are, we call charge, on it like a magnet if something is positive and negatively charged they attract so if there's a charge on anything there's that attraction of opposites so by a charge there could be an emotional charge meaning there's of anger feeling pain anxiety stress any kind of an emotional or even a judgment or an opinion or anything in one direction that we think something is good, we think something is right, or we think something is bad, or we think something is wrong, those are charges. And when there's a charge of any kind, the law of opposites is in effect. And the law of attraction won't work. Well, it does work, but it's working in bringing the opposite <laughs> that's what's happening. It's, it's took me years of studying this, of looking at it, of experimenting with it, and now it, it's so clear how it works that I want to share this with you. It's so important for those of you who are looking at that law of attraction, who see the power in the law of attraction, but are frustrated because it's not seeming to work in your life. 
it's because there is some sort of a charge on whatever it is you're trying to bring forth. If it's money you're trying to bring forth, there's some sort of a stress or a belief or a judgment or an opinion on money that's blocking it, that's causing the law of opposites to work. If it's bringing in a, a, a partner, if it's bringing in health, whatever it is you're working to bring towards you, if there's any stress, any opinion, any judgment, any feeling, anything that would, th that's right or wrong, good or bad in it, the law of opposites is in effect. So that's why I created the EFT series because what EFT does is it neutralizes those things. It opens up the channel so the law of attraction will work. It, it brings in those things that we are stressed about. It allows you to have the anger, to have those feelings, to have those judgments and clear them. Because denying them will only make them bigger. That you might have seen yourself. But any resistance, any denial, even avoidance, and it makes it bigger. How do you know what you're bringing into your life? Look at what you have in your life. That's what you're creating. That's what you're bringing forth. Whatever is there, is there by based on your thoughts, your beliefs, your judgments, your opinions, your feelings. So shifting your thoughts on it is one way of doing it, but usually you still have the beliefs and the opinions and the judgments that come along with it. So the EFT helps release the stress, helps release those feelings, those judgments, whatever it is that you have. So then you're sitting in balance. And once you're in balance, that's when the law of attraction works for the way you care for it to work. It's always working, but that's when it works for what it is you care to bring in. So if you find that whatever it is you're working on through the law of attraction processes that you've learned or you're using, the affirmations, the vision boards, whatever it is that you're working, it's not working. Use the EFT to clear the stresses, to clear those thoughts, those beliefs, those feelings and then you, then you will notice things will shift in your life. And if they're not shifting, look for more aspects. Look for things that you might not have noticed that's going on with whatever you're working on. And again, use the EFT. It works. It works because it clears that energy. It allows you to have those feelings. It brings them up so you can see them. When we deny ourselves these things, when we say, oh no, I want money, I don't know, I'm, I don't have any fears or, or prejudice on money. Well, then when you look and you see, wow, you know, I was brought up thinking that money was the root of all evil, but I forgot all about that and I want money in my life. Well, how can you have money in your life if you think it's the root of all evil? They contradict each other. So when we release these things and allow for them to flow, and we're in balance, not necessarily one or the other. It's just that we can flow in either direction is fine. When we don't think one is bad, when we don't think one is negative, there's no positive and negative. Well, there is, but when we think there's a positive and a negative, then there's a charge. So when you can be neutral on something and say, well, it's okay if I have it and it's okay if I don't and be okay with it, then the law of attraction has nothing to block it. Then the energy flows, then life flows, then everything just goes. It's bliss, it's ecstasy, it's wonderment. So I just wanna get that across to people because they're. I know a lot of people are very frustrated with why this law of attraction that they hear about working for so many people isn't working for them. It's because the law of opposites is in effect. And EOT can assist you in, in releasing some of that and getting that cleared out so that you can bring forth that life that you care to have. So I, I just wanna share that with everybody because I, I, like I said, it took me years of study to figure that out. 
and experimenting with it and it's just so clear I see it so clearly that I want to share it with you with everybody so please pass this video on to anybody and everybody you can and if you want to learn about EFT you don't know about it I have a free series on it go to my website holisticsite.net and you can sign up for a free video series on how to do it if you already know how to do it there's also videos that will come every so often on different aspects such as worry, releasing worry, improving performance, on physical pain, on creating wealth, on money issues, a, a whole host of other videos on using EFT on those to release the stress so that law of attraction can work for you. So please go to my website and sign up for those videos if you don't know how to use EFT. If you do know how to use EFT, then go ahead and use EFT. Or you can still sign up for the video series. I'd love for you to watch them and comment about them and give me suggestions. I'm always open for that. So thank you for watching this and um, please use it. Use whatever you can to, to allow that law of attraction to create the life that you care to have full of ecstasy and bliss.